Welcome to the video guys. We have a box of half dollars here. Actually, I have two boxes of half dollars. This is box number one. We're gonna get into this and hopefully we can find some silver. Our uh, last live stream that we did, we found nine silvers in one box. Uh, and I believe uh, two or three of those were 90% or so. Hoping that the streak continues, so we'll get into this. Hopefully we can find some silver. We'll also look for uh, foreigns, NIFCs, proofs, and toned coins. Looks like we might have a toned coin right there. So that's pretty cool, one for the album. So let's go ahead and get into these and see what we get. We are in roll number two, and this was that ender, and it looks like it is toned here, kind of a, a dark gold kind of toning on there. So that's interesting. We'll set that off to the side and see what we can add to that. We are four rolls into the box, and I think we might have silver here. Third from the end, that definitely looks like a 40 percenter. Hopefully it is. And that's a 40 percenter right there. We got a 1968 Denver. So we are on the board with silver. Awesome. So just as I was hoping, maybe we'll get into another good box like we had last week. So we've got an entire box left to go. Let's find some more of that. And the same roll as we just found that silver. I looked through the rest of the roll and I didn't catch it by the edge. Uh, probably because I was so focused on the 40 percenter there, but we do have an NIFC. We've got a 2003 Denver. 24 rolls into this box, and it looks like we have ourselves another 40 percenter. Second one from the end there. This will be the second one for the box. And it's another 1968 Denver to go along with the first one we found. All right, so we've got silver in the box. And we have almost, well, we have actually more than a half a box left to go, so not bad. I've got a pile of 74 Ds over there. We'll check for double die obverse on there. But uh, so far, turning out to be a great box. We'll bring you back in. We finished looking through that roll that we got that second 40 percenter out of, and we also found a 2002 Philadelphia NIFC. This one's actually in pretty good condition for being a 2002, so we'll add that to our 2003 and hopefully we can find some more of those too. Seven rolls into the box and we've got a super shiny edge here. I'm guessing this one is most likely an NIFC. And well, it's a 2018 Denver. I think the consensus with a lot of people is that the 2018 was actually released by the Mint into circulation so they're not technically a, um, an NIFC. Um, if you have any information on that, leave a comment down below and um, let me know, but um, my impression is that these are not technically NIFCs since uh, they were believed to have been released by the Mint. But either way, we'll take it. It's a nice shiny coin. We are 48th roll in the box. I just finished looking through the roll and we managed to find another 2003 Philadelphia. All right, well we finished up with box number one and we had a good First box with some nice finds, even including silver, so we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna put box number two up here, and we're gonna dive into that and see if we can add to this. Well, box number two is starting off kinda of slow, but we do have our first find. We are uh, just finished up looking through our ninth roll, and we found a 2002 Denver NIFC to get us started in box number two. Well, we managed to pull another NIFC out of roll number 18. We've got a 2006 Philadelphia. We'll add that to our pile here that we've got of our NIFCs. That seems to be what we're finding in box number two, the only two finds, but we've got quite a ways to go. Well, I'm gonna bring you back in. We're on roll number 36, and we found ourselves a little air coin here. This is what's known as a misaligned die. It's where the uh, top die is uh, not lined up with the uh, anvil die that's below the planchet. Um, it, it's only like that on one side of the coin. If it was on both sides, then it would be an off-center air where the plancha actually is sitting uh, off-center of the dies coming together. Um, but uh, this is pretty, the most significant one that I've seen in a half dollar. That one's uh, actually pretty nice. And the coin itself is in pretty decent condition too. A 1982 uh, Philadelphia. So that is a nice find. So we'll add that to our finds over here. 
and we've got 14 rolls left to go. Roll number 48, and we have another NIFC. This time we've got a 2007 Denver, so that's three out of box number two. Let's see what we can pull out of those last two rolls. Well, we searched through those last two rolls of box number two and we did not find anything else. So here are all of our finds from uh, both boxes. Uh, we did find this hold coin, a 1971, looks like a Denver, probably a necklace. And we found a toned coin. It's kind of some interesting colorization here, 1971 Denver as well, both sides there. Some pretty cool markings on that. And we found seven NIFCs here. Some of them were actually in really nice condition. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven of those NIFCs there. So those are nice to find. And we did find this air here. A misaligned dye air on this 1982 Philadelphia. You can see there's hardly any rimming down there and very thick up here at the top. And of course, with the misaligned die, it's only on one side. So that's pretty cool. I have not seen one in a half dollar like this before. Sometimes it'll just be ever so slightly uh, off on the edge there, but uh, this one's uh, pretty significant it's where there's almost no rim protruding on the uh, bottom of the coin there. So that was pretty cool to find. And we did find two silvers in the boxes here. So we got two. And they're both 1968 Denver's 40 percenters. So very, very cool. So a lot of, a lot of variety in these two boxes. Uh, it's nice to do a half dollar box for myself. I'm used to doing them on the live streams all the time. So this was fun uh, for me to do for myself and uh, then to go ahead and to find uh, what we did here. So lots of fun stuff. Well guys, I always enjoy sharing our videos of our finds, but I also like to share my finds with you guys. So we're going to be doing a giveaway for this 1968 40% Kennedy half dollar that we found in this hunt. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is be a subscriber of this channel and leave a comment down below in the comment section on this video. And sometime next week, we will use a random comment picker to select a winner. Also, please take the time to read the description below in this video for additional information. Well, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of our recent videos and giveaways. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.